Dane, so I want to tell you about a dream I had January 9, 2019, um, indicating the start of Armageddon. Um, my brothers and I were fellowshipping in a home in Redondo Beach, and they are both saved as well, born-again Christians. And um, the neighbor that was living beside us, um, she came over and she wanted me to babysit her children. She had small children. I thought it was their mother. Okay, so she brought a calendar over, and we were she we sat at a table, and she was picking the dates that she wanted me to watch the children. I said, "Sure, I can watch them that day." And then she chose another date aggressively, and she goes, "No, I want you to watch them this day." And then she chose another date, and it was like she was trying to. You know, every date that I said I would watch him, she was like trying to catch me up that I wasn't going to say yes. I said, sure, I'll watch him, you know. And then all of a sudden she became really demonic. And she goes, she goes, sign this. And I realized at that point um, that she, she was demonic. I said, I'm not signing anything. And I said, if you treat your husband like that, he may push you down the stairs. Uh, and then at that time, she turned into Satan himself. And my brother, he was observing that. And see, my brother's had a, an issue with with um, his perception. He's been attacked a lot because he doesn't, I don't think he gets until recently that evil comes in all shapes, forms, and sizes. And um, wickedness is real. And he's very, he's very, uh, has a big heart. But recently, um, he's been able to see, have discernment by the grace of God, by a miracle of God. So this indicated that Elias now sees how the enemy works. But Satan grabbed my head at that time, and he was trying to murder me. And he was also trying to murder my brothers. But I kept saying the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. And I had angelic protection, of course, and he wasn't able to murder me at that time. But me and my brother hopped up and we grabbed hands and we prayed to Jesus and we were praising Jesus for everything he's done, for giving us a new life, for, for delivering us of temptation, delivering us of our broken lives full of many mistakes, and and uh, we were just praising him, Jesus, thank you, thank you, we're looking up to the sky, looking at everything that he's, he's created, and at that time, when we were praising him, we were transformed in, in a blink of an eye to medieval armor, it was pearl white, um, we had, uh, Eli I, could, uh, I observed what Elias was wearing, he had a shield, um, he had, he had a, a sword and he had, um, face, face gear. He has a face shield, uh, but it was, uh, not an earthly color. It was beautiful pearl white that I've never seen on earth. Beautiful. And Elias was very calm, collected, and he began a slow, uh, peaceful march up to the rest of the saints who were waiting and who were going to their position in Armageddon. And I, and I looked back, I was observing everything that happened. I said, what happened? Where's our clothes? And Jesus read my face and I looked back and there was piles of clothes on the, on the floor. Okay. Three piles of clothes, which was each myself and my, my two brothers. And I was also in this beautiful armor, you know, and had a, had a sword. Okay. So, um, then I said, Oh, what happened? Jesus. And Jesus spoke and he said, the snake. Okay. So remember the catching away is going to be a catching away of the saints, um, of the believers from evil. It gets very evil. Uh, the snake gets very, very evil on earth, the Antichrist spirit, everything. And Jesus catches his people up. You can find that in Thessalonians, the, the rapture. And then um, we were going to take our positions in Armageddon. And um, it was just the most peaceful, awesome feeling I've ever felt. Um, and we did have all the gear to fight. But Jesus spoke, he, he read my thoughts and he said, the battle has already been won. And um, the spirit told me what he meant is the battle has already been won on the cross. He defeated Satan on the cross. Whoever doesn't want to go to heaven at this point, um, they just refuse. They don't want to go to heaven, you know, because he already, he already won. Uh, the battle's been won, but we do have to, to, um, you know, take our positions and 
play our part, do our, do our part as Christians. Um, but so it's coming, it's coming saints, you know, he's coming. So I pray if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and savior, that, you know, he is God. He's the second person of the Trinity. He is the son of God, uh, God in the flesh. Okay. And I pray that you accept him, know that he was, he died on the cross for your sin, but he was resurrected the third day. If you confess each sin to him and uh, pray to him, Jesus, I'm sorry. I'd like you to be my Lord and savior. I believe even in my heart, confessions made with the mouth, you'll be saved. And read your Bible daily. Get into a Bible-based believing church if you can find one these days. If not, just fellowship with other born-again believers. And um, just uh, seek God. Press on. You have a destiny written about you. God has written a destiny book about each one of us. And in the you know we are judged according to what we did in that destiny. Did we fulfill our full destiny? I mean for the reward ceremony. We do not go to the white throne judgment. That's for unbelievers. But we are judged according to that destiny book. Did we fulfill it? Did we get our full reward? Did we get partial reward? Or do we get no reward? So um, seek God. Seek what's in your destiny. You know, seek what you're supposed to be doing here on earth. And treat others with kindness. That's what's missing. Just love. Love each other and treat others with kindness. And, um, you know, don't sin now. You know, this is not time. This is not the time to be sinning. You know, be filled with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Okay, I love you. I'm praying for you all. God bless.